Watch the answer. And you will see it's very beautiful and very easy. Kam akhan laka ya Muhammad. Kam akhan, akhan, see? You know what is akhan? Tamiz. Kam akhan laka ya Muhammad. What is the answer? Li akhun wahidun. Li akhun wahidun. But it was laka which changed into Li. Huh? What is Li? How many words are Li? How many words? This is Two. What are they? Li harf chat and pronoun Ya mutakallim. Huh? So it is Jarun or Majrun. So it has come in the beginning. When Jarun, Majrun will come in the beginning or Zarf and Mudaf Ilahi will come in the beginning, most of the time they are Khabar. And then most of the time you will see the Mubtada indefinite. Uh, you will see Mubtada indefinite. Most of the time. Okay. What is the answer? Li Akhun Wahidun. Okay. I have one brother. So where is our Mubtada? Akhun. That's Sahih. Muhammad. Brother, what is Wahidun? Brother Salman. Akhun. I know it is one. But in Arabic, what will you call it? Akhun Wahidun. Khun Dun. No, not, not, not. Badal, you know, Ismu Ishara has to come. <laughs> you, you seem to like Badal very much. <laughs> no, not Manud. What is it? Akhun Wahidun is not Manud. Where is, where is not Wahidun? Where is Manud? Akhun. Huh? So Akhun is our Muftida. Now, brother and sister, yesterday we practiced. What did we practice? Dual. You know how to make dual. But in this lesson, only marfu form. Uh, make a jewel of this. Kalamani. Uh, make the jewel of this. Kitabani. Are you with me? All you do is ani. Do it ani. It's very simple. Fine. Wa kam ukhtan laka. See, kam ukhtan. What is ukhtan? Tamiz. Uh, okay. Laka. How many? Sisters, do you have? What is the answer? Li Ukhtani. I have two sisters. Li Ukhtani. Now, if you have things fresh in your mind of what we did yesterday, then you will answer it, inshallah. What is Li? Jar Majrun, Shibu Jumla, Khabar. Try to say Khabar Mukaddam. What will you say? Mukaddam means it came in advance. Mukaddam means it came in advance. I will write down Mukaddam. Huh? And what is the other one? The opposite of this. Mokhar means late. Mokaddam means comes in advance. Okay, brothers and sisters. Li jar majur shibu jumla khabar. What is Ukhtani? Ukhtani. It's only one word. What is it? Mubtada. Mubtada. Okay, it is Mubtara. One word, Ukhtani means two sisters. Are you with me? Now remember, we are used to seeing Dhamma at the end for Marfu. Mubtada is always Marfu. So you saw Li Akhun. Now you did not see Dhamma. So is Ukhtani Marfu? Yes. Naam. What is the alamat? Alif, mashallah. Huh? So this is now we are getting sharp. Huh? That we see Ukhtani, if you see dual with Ani, it is always Marfu. Huh? And what is the sign of it being Marfu? It's Alif. Brother, you are doing very well, Alhamdulillah. MashaAllah. That was good, Sister Mahmuna. That was excellent. Kam ajalatan liddarrajati ya Hamid. How many wheels? 
uh, to the bicycle. Kam ajalatan lid darajati. Uh, see, lid darajati came. So the answer is laha ajalatani. What is the meaning of laha? It has two wheels. Uh, what is laha? Jar majur. Shibu jumla khabar. Where is our mubtada? Ajalatani. Is it marfu? Yes. yes. What is the sign? Alif. Mashallah. Mashallah. Okay. Brother, come Eidan. Wow. Eid. We're talking about Eid. Huh? Come Eidan. Fissanati ya Zakaria. How will you translate? Come Eidan. How many Eid? In the year, ya Zakaria. Huh? Are you with me? So what is e dan? Tamiz. What is it? Tamiz. Huh? After come, it is tamiz. Whenever you see come, it is tamiz. Okay. That that word, the noun which is after come, the noun which is mansub is tamiz. Fisanati hidani. In the year there are two eats. So, fish sanati, char majur, shibu jumla khabar, and eidani is our mubtada, and it is marfu, and the alamat of rafa is alif, inshallah. Huma idul fitri wa idul adha. Are you with me? All you translate? Huma, they are idul fitra. And Eid al Adha. Fine, brother. What is Huma? First time Huma has come as a Murtada. <laughs> Where is the Khabar? Khabar is always Marfu if it is one word. Eidu, mashallah. Excellent, beautiful, brother. You know, your, your understanding pleases me a lot, mashallah. Okay. And then, Wahuwa Mudaf. And then, Fitri mudafilehi, and then wow, ataf, and then idu. You can say in this particular case, mautufun ala, the first idu, huh? okay, and then what is adha? Mudafilehi, it is mudaf ilehi. Are you with me? Idul fitri is mudaf mudafilehi, wa idul adha is mudaf mudafilehi. Very good. Ya Ibrahim, Abu ka tajirun kabirun. Your dad is a rich merchant. Kam sayaratan hindahu. Sayaratan tamiz. Kam sayaratan hindahu. What is the uh, translation, brother? Uh, how many car does he have? Huh? What is the answer? Hindahu sayaratani kabiratani. See how clever Dr. Abdurrahim is that he, he brings us simple sentences in which we can understand our muftada, khabar, and our naat, manut. Huh? So, brother, indahu. What is inda? Zarf. And you will say immediately shibu jumla khabar. And then who? Mudafilehi. And where is muftada? Sayyaratani. And what is Kabiratani? Naat. Why it is not? Because it matches. You know, Naat must match in number. If the, if the Manut is dual, the Naat has to be dual. If the Manut is Marfu, the Naat has to be Marfu. So do you see Kabiratani Marfu? Yes. What is the sign of Marfu? Alif. Mashallah. Mashallah. What? Sayaratani, Sagiratani, and two small cars. Very good. Kam nafizatan fi gurfatika ya ismailu. What is it? Kam nafizatan. What is nafizatan? Windows. Windows. It is tamiz, mashallah. It is tamiz. Windows, gurfat, fi gurfatika. Fi harfjar, gurfati isam majroor, wa huwa mudaf, and ka. Mudafilehi, mashallah, mashallah. 
fiha nafizatani what is fiha char majur shubh jumla khabar and what is nafizatani muftada marfu and the sign of marfu by the salman alif mashallah mashallah liman okay now comes hazani huh? so we have to now learn hazani okay brother what is this hada and what is this are you with me and what is this brother and what is this again singular plural what is the dual haza hazani what is it ha za ni dual so we are learning dual of haza now and hazihi is ha ta ni look at the spelling huh? make sure we we understand the spelling huh? ha ta ni haza ni Okay, fine. Brothers and sisters, liman hazani daftarani. Look at this carefully, brother Hasan. Hazani daftarani. What is hazani? Ismu shara. And what is coming after ismu shara? Adaf baf. This is badal. Mashallah. You got the idea? See the badal. See brother Farooq. How the badal came? Hazani, pay attention, brother. Hazani, adaf tarani. So adaf tarani is your badal, huh? Sahi, because it is definite and it is coming after ismo shara. What is the answer? Huma li, huma muptada. What is li? Jar majur shibu jumla khabar. Two words, huh? Very good. Liman hatanil mistaratani. Are you with me? Liman hatanil mistaratani ruler. Then Yunus says, "Huma li, they are mine." Got the idea? So this lesson is very easy, brothers and sisters, because thanks to Dr. Abd Rahim, he he makes sentences very simple. And he wants to understand dual form, but only marfu form, not mansub and majlur. Huh? Okay. You know, uh, I'm sure most of us must have gone to or Umrah or Hajj. When you go to Mecca and you see all those stores, uh, sidewalks, they always shout something. You know what they shout? Realign, realign, realign. What, is, what are they saying? Two reals. But what is realign? It's not marfu form. Uh, what is the marfu form of re, uh, realun? Uh, make it dual. Realani. Are you with me? Uh, okay. If I say realun. What is the marfu form? Uh, this is marfu. What is dual? Ria, lani. What will be the mansu form? We did it yesterday. Ria laini. Huh? Ria, ria, laini. And again, ria, laini. Okay. So the people are shouting. Realaini, realaini, real. They won't even say realaini. They will say realaini, realaini, realaini. Means two reals. Why are they saying this? Not, not. They are not saying realaini, realaini. They are saying realaini because there is a whole sentence which they don't say, it, but we have to understand what is it. You know, realaini is a, like a dollar store. Everything is for dollar. Realaini, everything is for two reals. This is what it is.
كل شيء حرف جر what is it <laughs> b no what will happen to ria lani it will become ria lani b ria got the idea so the whole sentence is hidden all that we hear is ria lani ria lani ria lani but it means be ria lani ha huh? be ria lani are you with me okay but you see probably the guy who's saying realeni he doesn't know what he's saying <laughs> if you ask him why it is realeni and what why not realani okay whenever you will talk about price b will come when you will talk about price of something uh, b half jar will come okay we will study it inshallah later on so i just thought i'll mention it to you so keep that in mind because i i want to prepare you slowly slowly so the dual form okay kitabani kitabaini kitabaini kalamani kalamaini kalamaini okay we so just keep it in mind and you will be doing that exercise huh? inshallah in the hand now brothers and sisters riyalani sign of marfu is alif in realaini what is the sign of its being majrur i see harf jar b uh, ya yeah. uh, just keep that in mind huh? keep that in mind inshallah so now we go to uh, uh, exercise number 1 brothers and sisters if they ask you about how many brothers you have even if you have four brothers you will only reply that i have two brothers Okay, if you have four sisters, you will say I have two sisters, and if you have no brothers, then also you will say I have two brothers. Are you with me? Because we are practicing the use of dual, inshallah. And if these exercises, what shall I call them? We had halwa puri for a long time. These are all baklava. <laughs> these are all nice baklava from Syria, huh? kam kalaman indaka or indaki ha huh? ajib answer the following question using musanna only only dual nothing else so kam kalaman indaka how will our answer start indi how will it start indi huh? it will start indi and then kalamani indi kalamani kam kitaban indaka or indaki in the kitabani i have two books so what did you say in the so in the ha huh? brother and sister in the plus ya mutakallim change into in the got the idea ha huh? so when you say in the how many words are there two, two. what is the first word in the, in the. Oh, that is your zarf, shubu jumla, khabar. And what is yamata kalam? Mudafli. That's that's how you will describe it, right? Inshallah. Okay. And then if you say kalamani, that is your muftada. Are you with me, Bada Salman? And same way, kita bani will become your muftada. Sahi. Now you have to understand carefully. How will you answer? Kam saburatan fi fasli kum. fi fasli kum how many words three fi harf jar there is isam majru fasli and then it is mudaf and what is kum mudaf ilahi are you with me so fi fasli kum okay kam saburatan fi fasli kum fi faslina ma sha Allah huh? because kum will become na fi faslina saburatani or you want to make it very simple you say fihi what you will say in it uh, you can either you say fi faslina or you will say fihi in it uh, which is the class it is the class inshallah uh. kam riyalan indakiya layla kam riyalan indakil alana ya layla kam riyalan 
Hinda ki al-ana ya layla. What will be the answer? Hindi riyalani. Okay. Kam dulara ninda ka ya hasan? Hindi? Dularani. Dularun will become dularani. Kam dularan hinda ki ya sumaya? It's not there. Kam ri dularan hinda ki ya sumaya? Hindi. What will you say? Hindi dularani. Hindi dularani. We are only practicing jiyana. Kam dularan hinda ka ya salman. Hindi dularani. I have two dularans now. Now comes kam ukhtan laka ya Ali. Kam ukhtan laka ya Ali. Kam ukhtan laka ya Ali. Are you with me? Now your answer will be Li. What will be? Li ukhtan. Li ukhtan. MashaAllah. Beautiful. Kam amman laki. Kam amman laki ya Amina. How many chachas you have? How many uncles you have? What will you say? Li Ammani, Ammani, very good. Kam sadikan laka ya Muhammadu, li sadikani. See, you have to watch how we are using enda and li. Very important. If you say, you know, somebody, if you even ask somebody, kam ukhtan enda ka, that is very poor Arabic. Kam ukhtan laka. Okay, so if you say to somebody, how many friends you have? Kam sadikan laka, not kam sadikan indaka. That will be very poor Arabic, you know, incorrect. Okay, but then people in the streets will always use like that, you know. Sometimes, because they they are careless, you know. Okay, but if we if we speak, if Allah blesses us, how to speak Arabic? We will speak the purest Arabic. The way our Prophet, beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam spoke. And the way all the Ashabas spoke. <laughs> they all spoke purest Arabic, brother. Because the Quran was revealed in their language. Which they spoke. Today's Arabic is polluted. Huh? Today's Arabic is polluted. But we, inshallah, as non-Arabs, when we learn the language of the Quran, we will try to speak pure Arabic. Now, pure Arabic is spoken, but only in a in a television, not in movies, but in television, in newscast of radios, and also in all the khutbas. If you hear khutbas anywhere in the Middle East, the Imam will speak pure Arabic. Huh? But back to street. The Imam will speak the polluted Arabic. It's a sad thing, you know. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, here comes another question. Come, Taliban jadidan fi faslikum. How will you say fi faslina? Fi faslina, Talibani. Jadidani. How will you say Talibani? Jadidani. Got the idea? Fine. So Taliban is Tamiz. Then what is Jadidan? Naat. Naat. Very good. Kam masjidan fi kariyatika ya Zakaria. How many mosques in your village? So you can say fi kariyati in my village or you say fi ha. Huh? Masjidani. What will you say? Masjidani. Fi ha masjidani or fi kariyati in my village. Huh? If I say fi kariyati, how many words I am using? Fi kariyati. How many words? Three, brother. One, two, and three. Huh? Are you with me? Ja majroor. Mudaf, mudaf ilahi. Fine. 
کم فندوکن فی حاض شارعی اوکے برد ان سسٹر کم فندوکن فندوکن فی حاض شارعی سو بردر فندوکن what is فندوکن تمیز what is فی what is حاضا اسلام مجرد and brother فاروق what is اشاریا بعد الما شهلا see now you are getting remember you saw اسم شهرہ then it is بعد الما for sure انشاءاللہ what will be the answer فی هذا الشارعی how will you answer فی هذا الشارعی فندوکانی فندوکانی کم اخن لکی یا سواد کم اخن لکی یا سواد what will be the answer لی اخوانی now we have to check the spelling see اخون dual is اخوانی the dual is اخوانی اخوانی and ابون what will be the dual of ابون ابوانی ابوانی when you say ابوانی it doesn't mean you have two fathers ابوانی means mother and father parents ابوانی will mean parents fine brothers and sisters کم اخن لکی یا سواد لی اخوانی سی راکٹر عبدالعیم has mentioned الاخو مصنعو اخوانی got the idea the dual of it is اخوانی fine are you okay brother and sister so far so good you are understanding everything is clear now اکرا وقتوب what is it brother and sisters اکرا وقتوب اکرا وقتوب فائن remember the خبر is of five kinds in our simple way we are trying to simplify everything خبر is five kinds number one it is مفرد one word when it is one word it is always مرفو then number two can be جار مجرور شبو جملہ then number three can be ظرف and مدافع لہی number four it can be جملہ فیلیہ and number five جملہ اسمیہ now جملہ اسمیہ people always get gavrified but inshallah we'll try to make it very simple inshallah and the way I will explain you inshallah you'll find it it's not difficult خالدن what is it خالدن مبتدہ پردر leave the مبتدہ aside put it on the back burner big big line سیسر سلما پردر محمد put a big line after خالدن now there is another sentence starting what is the sentence لہو ابنانی و بنتانی fine what is لہو چار مجرور and then it is khabar but khabar for what ibnani so what is ibnani muqtada what is the sign of its being marfu alif then came waw what is waw ataf wa bintani what will you say bintani ma'atufun ala ibnani says salma you got the idea bintani is connected by waw to ibnani now this is your sentence so what is this sentence doing here? It is coming as a khabar for Khalid. Are you with me? It is coming as a khabar. Did you get it, Brother Muhammad? Yes. Huh? MashaAllah. Jumla Ismiya came as a khabar for Muftada. Our first Muftada. Got the idea? What was our first Muftada? Khalid. Huh? And then we had a jumla in which we also found Muftada and Khabar. So that Muftada and Khabar, Brother Salman, now the whole jumla is coming as a Khabar for Khalid. So as we know, 
the Jumla Ismiya can also come as a khabar. So this is your Jumla Ismiya coming as a khabar. Huh? Inshallah. Fi hadal bayti. What is fi hadal bayti? Fi harjar. Hadha. Ism majrur al bayti. Badal. Huh? Badal al bayti. Badal. Jar majrur shibu jumla khabar. Where is our muftada? Gurfatahni, two rooms, huh? marfu. And what is this? Kabiratani, naat, mashallah, mashallah. Again, number third. Brothers and sisters, if you have a highlighter, I want you to highlight number one and number three. Huh? Sister Nasri, highlight only number one and number three. Why? Because in these two sentences, the khabar is Jumla Ismiya. Whenever Jumla Ismiya will come as a khabar, I will ask you to highlight it. For you to understand at home, inshallah, properly. I'm sure you can understand here, but when you go home and revise, inshallah, it will come back to you with ease. Huh? This will be number one and number three. So we are doing number three. What is the sentence? Fatima, Fatima tu. What is Fatima tu? Mubtada. Leave it aside. Huh? Put a line. Sister Sumaya, put a line. Now you take another sentence. I mean the sentence which is following Fatima. Okay? And maybe if you want to put it into a bracket, put it into a bracket. Huh? And put the first sentence, Lahu ibnani wa bintani also in bracket. Okay? So that is your di- complete sentence coming as a khabar for Muftira. Okay, brother? Laha. What is Laha? Char Majur Shibu Jumla Khabar. So what is Tiflani? Muftira for Laha. Muftira for Laha. Okay? Is it Marfu? Yes. It is Marfu with Alif. What is Sagirani? Naad. So what is this sentence doing here? Laha tiflani sagirani bad Abdul Samad. It is a Jumla Ismiya coming as a khabar for Muftida Fatima. Got the idea? So if you put a bracket to emphasize this more and highlight it so that highlight will tell you that this sentence has a khabar in the form of Jumla Ismiya. Huh? Got the idea? Whenever it will come, I will be pointing out to you. And later on, brothers and sisters, inshallah, you will become very strong and you will be able to figure out. And it comes in the Quran, brother. It comes in the Quran. Huh? And you will be able to figure out, inshallah. Now, number four. Li Ainani. What is it? Li Ainani. What is the meaning of it? I have two eyes. Okay? So what is Li? Jahar Maju, Shubhu Jumla, Khabar. Where is Muftada? Ainani. Is it Marfu? Why? Alif is there. Uh, MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Okay, but then comes Wow. Ataf. What is Uznani? Maudufun Allah, Ainani. Then again Wow came. Uh, what is Yadani? Maudufun Allah, Ainani. Uh, it will go to the first. And Rijlani, Mahdufun ala, Aynani. We cannot say they are all Muptadas. There is only one Muptada, which is Aynani. And the rats are all connected to the Aynani by way of Ataf. Connect, a conjunction. Got the idea, and sisters? Fi hazal hayji. What is the meaning of hayji? Neighborhood. Hayji, neighborhood. Suburb, neighborhood we can say. You know like you, you have Oakville and then you, uh, uh, you have... Uh, Oakville is not a city. It is a, it's, I, I think I will call Oakville neighborhood or Woodbridge. Huh? Okay. So uh, East York. You know these are small, small things you know. Uh, Richmond Hill. Huh? Suburb you can say, suburb. Hayyi means suburb, you can say. Okay. 
fi hazal hayyi madrasatani what is it madrasatani okay how will you translate in this neighborhood there are two schools that's all in this neighborhood there are two schools what is fi haza and what is al hayy badal ha huh? it is badal sahi where is our mubtada madrasatan huh? badal so many examples with badals are coming ha huh? you, you you are getting extra practice now okay fine salatul fajri rak'atani rak'atani salatul fajri how many words are there salatul fajri what kind of a compound is this mudaf mudafili so what is salatu mubtada wa huwa mudaf and fajri is mudafili and where is our khabar rak'atani got the idea is rak'atani one word yes is it marfu yes it is marfu very good lil baiti yes brother faru Farooq, your question is, what is the khabar in number five? Khabar in number five is fi haza. Are you with me? Fi haza is jar majroor shibu jumla khabar, and then al hayi is your badal, huh? and madrasatani is your muftada. Got the idea? Inshallah. Number seven, lil baiti. These are very simple sentences, brother. But only they are in dual form. The mubtada is in dual form. Lil baiti. What is lil baiti? Jar majus shubujur for the house. What is for the house? There are two keys. Miftahani, mif, miftahani, miftahani. Lil baiti, miftahani. So miftahani is your mubtada. Huh? And lil baiti is your khabar, jar majru shibu jumla khabar. Liman hata nil bakaratani, liman hata nil bakaratani. What is your answer? Huma lil falahi. Huma lil falahi. So brother, huma is your mubtada, and lil falahi is your jar majru shibu jumla khabar. Alhamdulillah. Okay. Number nine. Ahaza nit tabibani. Ahaza nit tabibani. Min in Kaltarra. Are they from UK? La. Huma min Faransa. Huma min Faransa. What is Huma? Muktada. Where is our khabar? Min Faransa. What is Min Faransa? Jar Majru. Shubhu Jumla Khabar. MashaAllah. Alhamdulillah. Fi Kariyati Masjidani Sagirani. Now see here, Fi Kariyati. How many words? Three. Fi Havchar. Kariyati is a Majru. Wahua Mudaf. And Ya Mutakallim Mudaf Ilehi. Fi Kariyati Jar Majru. Shubhu Jumla Khabar. Mukaddam. And what is masjidani? Mubtada. Huh? Is it marfu? Yes. What is the sign of its marfu? Alif. And what is sagirani? Naat. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. Beautiful. Huh? Beautiful. Now, brothers and sisters, we come to number three. Once you understand the basic, it's all easy. The only thing is now you will go home and write it, huh? inshallah. <clears throat> Read the following example and then put in the empty spaces <clears throat> tamiz. Huh? Okay? Li kam. Wadabit. Wadabit. Akhirahu. The last of it. Akhirahu. Fine, brother. The example are, see, kam ukhtan laka. Kam kalaman indaka. Do you see? Ukhtan laka. Kalaman indaka. So, with, uh, 
with your relatives, you will use laka. And with things possessed that you possess, in daka. And then comes hayaratan fil jamiyati. And the noun underline is mansub. And what is it? Tamiz. Huh? Got the idea? It is tamiz. Okay, Sister Salma. Now, a kam kalaman indaka. You will form the sentence by using kam kalaman indaka. So all that you are using is tamiz. Huh? Okay, laka has come. What will you use? Kam. Ukhtan, Akhan, Ibnan, Bintan. Are you with me? Kam, how will you say? Ukhtan, Laka. Fine, brother. Abir? Fi hazi shari. What do you see in the street? Kam, Kam, Sayaratan. 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 Or you can say Kam, Fundukan. How many hotels? Kam fundukan or kam sayaratan. Huh? But we cannot count sayaratan. There are too many. Kam fundukan. Huh? Or if you are passing by York Mills and Leslie, you can say kam baitan kabiran. <laughs> How many big houses are in this street? Okay. Now, fi kariyati ka in your village. Sister Sukhaina, what will you say? Kam masjidan fi kariyatika. Got the idea? Inshallah. Now, Sister Naima, fi faslikum. What will you say in the class? What is in your class? Taliban. So what will you say? Kam Taliban. How many? Or you can say, Kam Saburatan. How many blackboards in your class? Okay, fine. This is very nice, Sister Fatima. Fis Sanati. What do you have in Sana? Shahar. So what will you say? Kam Shaharan. What will you say? Are you with me? What is the meaning of Shaharan? Months. What, you, what do you say? Write down. Kam Shaharan. Huh? Sisters, is it all clear? Sister Maimuna, Sister Abir, Inshallah, Hafsa, Sister Sumaya. Does it make sense now? Huh? Okay. You got to work hard, huh, sister? Inshallah. Fine. What is the. You can say two months. Huh? G? You can say two months. No, no, answer will be different. We are, we are only practicing how to ask a question. Huh? In this particular case, your answer can be any, anything. Huh? Fine. Okay, Sister uh, Sumaya, is it your term? Darrajatan is a bicycle. So what will you say? Kam wheels. Kam ajalatan. What is it? Kam ajalatan. Okay, brothers and sisters, kam ajalatan, huh? Ajalatan. Ajalatan. One second, please. Ajalatan. Okay? Kam ajalatan. Liddaraj. How many bi uh, wheels to the bicycle? Not in asking question. After come, see there is a good question. Huh? If there is a confusion, it should be removed. When you are asking question with come, the tamiz has to be singular noun. It can never be plural or dual. Are you with me? After come, the tamiz that we are using has to be singular. 
Huh? So you will say, for example, kam baitan, kam kalaman, kam kitaban, kam dularan, kam sayaratan, huh? and kam ajalatan, kam shahran, kam, kam ibnan, kam bintan, kam uhtan, kam akhan, kam sadikan. Huh? Always singular. Huh? Fine. Uh, sister uh, uh, Arifa, fi gurfatika. What will you say? What did she say? Kam sariran. That's good. How many beds in the room? Huh? Very good. Kam sariran fi gurfatika. Huh? Or you can even say, kam kursiyan. Or you can say, kam nafizatan. But kam sariran is a very beautiful question. Oh, you can do. Brother? Anu, yes, sister. No, that is the way we. We say how many and then whatever we are saying how many is in how many pens. In English, what will you say? Pen, but in, in Arabic, it, it, when you translate, it will be pens. But we will say come and then singular now. Baitan, Tamis, Mansub. Got the idea? That we have to just understand it. After come, singular noun will come. Huh? Singular noun will come. Okay? Inshallah. Huh? Okay. And by doing all these, you will inshallah make yourself strong. Remember, no plurals, no duals, only singular. Okay? Again I say, come kalaman, come kitaban, come masjidan. Kam mudarisan, kam taliban, kam talibatan, kam sayaratan, okay, kam kursiyan, kam sariran, kam nafizatan, kam baban, how many doors to the house? Kam baban, lil baiti, okay, how many doors are in the house? Like that, you know. We are using singular, but if translation in English will be that. Yeah. Huh? Okay. Now another thing. See, let me tell you something. As soon as, as, soon as you ask a question with come, the tamiz has to be used. It will be singular. But when you translate, you can translate the way we translate in English. How many pens do you have? Yeah. Huh? But tamiz will be singular now. Nothing else. Huh? Inshallah. Okay, brother. Change the muftada into jewel. Example is given, Haza kitabun. What will be the Hazani kitabani? So who's next now? Sister Maimuna? Haza kalamun? What will you say, sister? Hazani kalamani. Huh? Fine. This is very easy. Here you have been given one example. Hadihi mistaratun hatani mistaratani. What will you say? Hatani, Sister Nasrin, hatani mistaratani. Mistaratani, dual. Okay, Sister Nusrat, hadha talibun, hadhani talibani. But the Farooq, hadihi talibatun, hadihi will change into hatani. Talibatani. Hatani. Talibatani. Are you with me? You cannot say Hatani Talibani. It has to be Hatani. Talibatani. Okay? Hatani. Tali. Ba. Hatani Taliba Tani. Got the idea? Hatani Taliba Tani. Okay, Brother Farooq, what is Hatani? Okay. What will you call Hatani? Muftada. And where is the Khabar? Taliba Tani. These are two female students. Huh? Okay. Fine. Brother Hassan. 
Hadar Rajulu Mudarisun. Now this is a very beautiful sentence, brother. Mashallah, Mudarisani. Mashallah, see? Hadha Nirrajulani. Hadha Nirrajulani Mudarisani. Maybe I should write it, huh? Okay, I will write down in red. Okay, brother? Ha Zanir Rajulani Mudarri Sani. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Look at it properly, huh? Ha Zanir Rajulani Mudarri Sani. Sister Abir, I want you to analyze it. Yes. 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 It is khabar. See, if you say not, then where is the khabar then? Huh? If you say it is not, and it, it, in order to be not, it has to be al mudarisan. So it is not al mudarisan. So hazani is your muftada. A Rajulani is your Badal and Mudarisani is your Khaman. Huh? Brother Salman, you got it? Brother Muhammad? Yes. Huh? Everybody? Sister Mamuna? Inshallah? You got it, Sumaya? Hafsa? Sister Salma? Inshallah. They were, okay. Now, uh, Brother Abdus Samad? Hazani Talibani Min al Hindi, mashallah. So, what is Hazani? Muftada. And what is Talibani? Badal. And where is the Khabar? Jar Majul. Shibu Jumla Khabar. Mashallah. Excellent. Brother Salman? What did you say, brother? No, it is Hazihi. So, what will you make Hazi into? Hatani. Not. Hatani Satani Minal Yabani. So if you say Hatani Satani, what is Hatani? Muftada. What is the Satani? Badal. And where is the news? Minal Yabani, Jal Madrul, Shibu Jumla Khabar. Brother Muhammad number eight. Hadihi. Hatani. Hatani. Sayaratani. No, but you want Lil Mudi. No, if you say Lil Mudi Rani, it will be wrong. You know why? You can say. You can use Lil Li, but then Mudi Rani will change into Mudi Raini. And will you say? Then it will change into. Mudi Raini. But Dr. Saif has not introduced Majroor form. So we are only using Marfu form of the dual. Are you with me? Let us use Majroor form now that Brother Muhammad has used it. You will say, Hata Nisayaratani Lil Mudi Raini. Mudi Raini, Mudi Raini, Mudi Raini. Are you with me? So what? Because Afjar came. So the Harvjar is a Majroor. So Mudirani has to change into Mudiraini. But we are not doing that. We are giving two cards to the Mudir. Because he deserves it. Huh? Okay. Hatani Sayaratani Lil Mudir. So Hatani Murtada Sayaratani is your Badal. And then Jar Majroor Shibu Jumla Khabar. MashaAllah. Okay, Sister Salma. You have Liman Hazani Hazanil Miftahani. Mashallah. Liman Hazanil Miftahani. Miftahani. Liman Hazanil Miftahani. Got the idea? Inshallah. Next one, also do it. Hatanil. Mila Katani. Mila Katani. Okay, what was the translation of the first? Liman Hazanil Miftahani. 
to for whom these two keys belong to. And what will be the next one? To whom or to whom these two spoons belong to? What will you say in Urdu? Ye do chamchiya. What will you say? Okay. Ye do chamchiya kiski hai. Okay. To whom does they belong to? Okay. Good. Brother, all halwa puris, you know. I don't think we need any, uh, any snacks today. There are too many halwa puris coming. Now you should read the following nouns and give proper vowel signs to all of it. Ready? Sister Arifa? Kalbani, two dogs. Sister Maimuna? Maktabani, two dust. Sister Nas- Nasreen? Kamisani, two shirts. Sister Nusrat? Akhawani. See, we cannot say akh. It has to be akhawani. There is a fata. Two brothers. Sister Sumaya? Mindilani, two handkerchiefs. Uh, Sister uh, Fatima, Miss Taratani, Miss Taratani, two rulers, uh, Sister uh, uh, Naima, Uhtani, okay, two sisters, and then Sister Sukhaina, Imratani, two ladies, Imratani, two ladies, fine, Sister Zabi, Thanni means make Muthanna. Thanni means make Muthanna in the following words. So what will be your Sayarat? Sayaratani Hafsa. Tabibatani. Sister Salma. Waladani. Bada Muhammad. Logatani. Bada Hassan. Sadiqani. Bada Abdul Samad. Tajirani. Bada Salman. Milakatani, Bada Farooq, Mudarisani, Sister Arifa, Babani, Sister Maimuna, Ismani, and Sister uh, Nasreen, Hadani, and Sister Nusrat, Hatani. I think we got so much halwa puri, I am full. I only need cup of tea. I don't know about you. <laughs> Okay. Uh, inshallah we'll finish this, brothers and sisters. Come means how many? Al Kalimatul Jadidatu, new words. Come. Come means how many? Al Eidu, I don't have to explain. Al Eidu. Huh? But and, uh, truly speaking, Al Eidu means festivity. Huh? Okay. Al Ajalatu, wheel. Ajalatun Jama wheels. Al Hayu Sabab Neighborhood. What is Jama? Ahyaun. That's your Jama. Al Riyalu. That is currency of Saudi Arabia. Riyalatun. That is your Jama. Please keep those in mind. Right? We will be using them in the next lesson. Al Rakatu. Raka. Part of the Salah. What is the Jama? Raka'atun. MashaAllah. Al-Mistaratun. What is Mistaratun? Ruler. What is Jama? Masatiru. What is it? Masatiru. Got the idea, brothers and sisters?